our last night shampoo, condition, whatever. So there's literally nothing in my hair. That's why it looks a mess. But I'm going to damp it or spray it first. I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't. That is what I'm doing. Anyways, um, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is water mixed with my Garnier Fructis Curl Cream. This is what I just normally put in my hair to make it more curly and stuff, but I'm going to just use it to dampen it. Um, if it runs out, I'm just going to fill it with just water, no product in it, but I wanted to see what this does because this is my first time. <laughs> well, I'm going to damp my hair now. Okay, so now I'm just combing it with my wide tooth comb. And while I'm doing that, I'm kind of going to make my part. Um, I'm going to part it on the right side, how I normally do my hair. Um, right now I like to just take the end of my elf um, duo eyebrow brush spoolie and I take my gel well first let me do this a little bit but I take a little bit of it put it on the top and kind of just do like that We gonna leave her like that because we gonna learn how to do her but like we gonna leave her like that for now i'm gonna move on to the next side okay so i think this is how i'm gonna leave my hair I don't hate it. Huh. I'm going to learn those finger waves soon, but for now, we're going to stick with this. I love the way this side looks. Hold on. I have a little baby hair that's sticking out here, but I might just leave it like that. It looks like undone, but I might leave it like that, or after I do my makeup, I'm how I might fix it. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling after I do my makeup, but let's get into it so <sighs> i already put moisturizer on my face i use the cetaphil uh daily facial moisturizer moisturizer with spf 15 i cannot find my primer so that is my primer for today and i used to do it and it works for me so for foundation i'm gonna go in with the covergirl true blend matte made shade m50 and i'm gonna use the shade l10 to highlight because i can't find well i can find my concealer but like she's running out and like we need her for the birthday photos it's like we need to be concealed so i'm just gonna use the foundation as a concealer so i'm taking shade m50 and then shade l10 for foundation and um concealer slash highlight so let's get into it Okay, now I'm taking the shade L10 
to highlight and I want to use my beauty blender so I'm just gonna put it on my beauty blender and see how that goes I'm gonna kind of go like this and kind of add it in that way and see how that goes um I'm not sure if I've mentioned this foundation in the video before because I have like pre-recorded videos but this foundation is so nice if you really like matte foundations like it really dries on matte and it doesn't feel like bad on your skin or anything like it's a comfortable matte foundation like I don't feel like I have too much foundation on that's a good highlight shade it's a little bright but we'll fix her but um yeah I really like this foundation shout out to Natalia for putting me on and giving it to me I appreciate you boo but yeah um so that's just that on that with this I like it a lot Ooh, let me take the other side and see if that helps this is a good highlight shade if you really want like that intense highlight I could have definitely gone like a shade or a few deeper but this is a good like intense highlight shade oh my god it looks so crazy on camera but in person it looks more subtle and the foundation just looks so matte I love it like when I wear this I feel like I don't even need to put um setting powder on that's how like just matte and uh I don't even know how to explain it it just I feel like it sets itself I'm gonna add just a ton oh that's my foundation Jay. but that's fine I can mix it so I'm mixing the two shades to kind of go on my chin. And then here. And then I'm going to go under again. Just to maybe make it less intense. Even though on camera it looks more intense than it does in person. But I don't want to look crazy on camera. Okay. I drag some of it to my eye just to use it as a primer. Because I normally use my concealer. I think I'm going to continue with the whole cream process of this look, so I think I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I think I used Truffle. Oh my god, if I'm right, mind is blown. But I think I use the shade Truffle, Truffle to contour. So I'm going to take my Matchsticks and contour this face. Oh my gosh, I really look... Oh, okay. I am correct, it's Truffle. <laughs> Let's do this method for my birthday. Sorry, I keep talking about my birthday. I'm like trying to figure out like even what makeup look I want to do. Because I want to do like a little birthday photo shoot with my friends. So I'm trying to like figure that all out as well. I'm trying to figure out how to do my hair, my makeup and everything. But what if I did my hair like this for some of the things and then I threw on? I don't know. Okay, decisions, decisions, Nikki. I like to take the Sonia Kashuk brush. It's like angled and it's for cream. So I think I use it for creams and I like to blend my foundation out with this brush. Or a beauty blender, but this brush, I just like the angle of it. So just a brush that has like this type of angle and this like it's a little more dense than like your typical bronzer powder brush, you know? I find doing my hair before my makeup so difficult because I feel like I'm like messing up my hair as I'm like doing my makeup, you know? Maybe it's just me. go into the eyes before I finish off anything else and what better eyeshadow palette than to use in the Jackie Aina palette I mean what I don't know where I want to go with this look I kind of want to do something different than I normally do so aka practice for doing my makeup because I feel like I don't do like intense looks anymore I'm gonna take this brush and I think I'm gonna go into pinker and mix it with Supreme. 
And I'm gonna put that in my crease and we'll see where that goes. I'm gonna take more of Supreme and kind of add that to make it more pink. And to kind of blend it out. Ooh, hold on. We might have did something there. So now I'm going to take this Morphe X Jacqueline Hill JH30 brush and it has a little bit of brown, dark brown on it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take Pinker and Big Wig and I'm going to mix those and see what that does. Because like I said, I do have brown left over on this, um, dark brown left over on this brush. But I'm going to kind of just pack that onto my outer corner. Actually, I'm going to just take Big Wig and pack it. Okay, there we go. There she goes. There's my big wig girly. I like this. <sighs> this is so pretty. Jackie just really snapped on this palette. I say this like all the time. I just realized I didn't do my brows. Anyways, um, Jackie just snapped at this palette for real. Like, come on, girl. You know what she was doing, boo. I was thinking of doing a look like this for my birthday photo shoot, but I feel like I always do this type of look. Like this is like my comfort zone, pinks and purples, like just like this though, like literally for years. Like just put a nice pink in your crease, a darker purple on the outer, cut the bit, cut a little crease, make sure it's blended, put you a cute um, cut crease color or leave it matte and call it a day. That was me. And that's me right now. I'm going to cut the crease, but to cut the crease, I'm gonna use that same foundation, um, but in the light shade that I used to highlight. So I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand, just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna take a flat brush. That was dirty, didn't know her flatter brush and kind of use that to cut the crease I kind of just pack it on there because I'm only really creating like the outline of where I want my shadow to go and I don't even do this all the time when I do cut creases but I feel like it's right to do so right now so that's what I'm doing I take a little bit more of the foundation and close her up because you don't need her no more I'm like letting it dry because it feels really wet and I'm gonna try and figure out what shade I want to go into I'm gonna use the same brush not this one but I am gonna also use the brushes that I used before to just make the lines less harsh but that's when I put on actual shade color what should I go into I don't want to be basic today I kind of want to go into Dwellers because it's a greenish yeah I'm gonna take a little bit more of Supreme with that same brush that I use in the crease to add that a little bit more, just defining. Ooh, I accidentally touched pinker, but I don't think that'll make a difference. As it didn't, period. Jackie, thank you for this palette, girl. You did your freaking thing. All right. So I kind of, okay. I'm gonna use the same brush that I just wiped off. Cause it doesn't i don't think it has oh no i'm gonna take the beauty blender i'm gonna put a little bit of shade l10 because um i want to make the shadow i don't want to make it sharp but i don't want it to be dragged down too much and it kind of was for my liking it was like literally right under so kind of cleaning it up like that with the top of my beauty blender And then to make sure that it doesn't look too blended in, because I'm going for like a more, not a sharp look, but a more just like blended out pretty. I'm going to take the same brush that had big wig on it and just kind of blend that line a little bit, which did what I just, you know, kind of tried to take away, but it's better. Okay. 
I like this. I am, what do I want to do next? I'm going to put on mascara. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. This is like one of my favorites, if not my favorite. I say this every video, but like really. I coat the lashes real good. And this time, because normally I don't let it dry, I'm going to let it dry a bit. Because we are most definitely adding a lash to this look. Girl, the palette just fell. I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in Tawny Mommy. And I'm going to take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JHO4 brush and use that to contour. This is a um, blush brush, I think. But I was washing my contour brush and this is like the closest thing I have to it. Oh my god, I'm lying. Hello, my contour brush is right here. Hi. Now I'm more happy. Okay, cool. I kind of go ham with my bronzer and then just like blend it out. I don't know. But. On my forehead, especially if I already have my hair done, I kind of dot it on. I know it looks really intense on camera, but I kind of like dot it on or dab it on first so that it's not, you know, messing up any hairs, even though it kind of did. I keep forgetting that I didn't do my brows. Okay. I'm going to add more concealer under... Um, concealer. More foundation under my eyes because I feel like I did my contour too intense but I'm just gonna leave it for now and see as I continue to do my makeup and if I don't like it I'll add some so don't mind me I I'm gonna add lashes but I'm stuck between adding a more simple lash this is baby doll from baddie b lashes or a more intense lash sugar baby I want to do the intense, but I feel like the eye look is intense. I don't know. I kind of want to use Baby Doll. I've been using her for the past few days. I've been trying her out, and I enjoy her, so we're going to use her today. I'm using this Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This is the um, clear one. I just find this one to work for me the best. I let it dry for a little, and then I just stick it on. Oh, she's doing the damn thing. Hold on. She's doing her thing. Okay, the lashes are on. I don't always coat them with mascara, but I'm going to do it a little bit. If you see this lash lifting, mind your business. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into eyeliner. So I'm going to take this ColourPop Kareem Gel Liner in Crybaby. It's like this light lavender purple, one of my favorite colors ever if not my favorite color ever. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm putting it on my waterline but only halfway. Because that's just what I like to do. I feel like I'm like always switching the camera, zoom, angle, whatever, but like, sorry, okay. I'll try and keep it like this. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. So, I want to do my lower lash line, even though I don't normally do this, but like, let's be different, you know? I want to take pinker, and I want to just drag it on my lower lash line and see how that looks. No, I don't know. I'm going to mix it with Supreme. I'm going to start from the outer, kind of where I did the liner. Oh, I don't mind that. Okay, so I'm mixing pinker. Well, I put pinker first, and then I put Supreme on top, and... I'm dragging it as far as I did the liner. So it's kind of like at the same level. I don't mind that. Okay, Nikki, shit. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna continue with the Jackie Ina train and I'm gonna take her artist, the Artist Couture Jackie Ina um, Diamond Glow Powder in La Peach. I also have LeBron's. It's a bit too deep for me, so I like to go in with La Peach. Look at her. It doesn't get better than that, does it? No. For highlighter, I just really like to take this JH09 brush from Morphe and I tap off the excess and I go in. This is a really good highlight shade for like my skin tone because it just looks like a natural glow when you put it on. Like, it doesn't look like it's too chalky too light 
the wrong undertone like it's literally perfect like she really curated like the perfect highlight shades and even with her um eyeshadow shades that she did with Anastasia Beverly Hills shit anyways god I always go ham on the nose with this one and with this one for I for I keep forgetting to do my brows but with this one I like to like drag up because it's just loose I drag it up sometimes in between my brows because like you know we're gonna look good I put a little bit on my forehead I always do this and then because I just because it's looser and sometimes when I dab it on it looks a little bit intense I just blend it out with my pinky putting it on my cheek and my cupid's bow make sure we're I just want to I just want to drown in this like and I'm gonna keep that out because we're gonna use that for something else two more things actually we love a multi-use thing go get you. well I don't even think it's available anymore but like if it is go get it if not go get the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take my big fluffy fluffy brush and kind of like blend everything in just make it look seamless I'm messing with this so then I'm gonna take the same Maybelline lash sensational mascara use that on my bottom lashes I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I did use to contour if I can find it yeah and I am gonna deepen it a bit and just go over it because I did blend a lot so just making sure she's there even though I'm sure you can tell she's there I'm surprised that the gel is really holding down my hair and everything oh my god I'm gonna show y'all the back I didn't even look at the back but like you guys are gonna see the back for the first time with me so that's great just a little not really I'm taking my Karuchi X Colourpop Colourpop X Karuchi whichever way it goes and I'm taking Chi and I'm putting that in the center trucking look okay what else do I have to do I forgot I'm gonna blend out under my eye a little bit because I see I got some highlight there holy moly hold on girly really don't mind the lash she doesn't want to stay over there but like she's staying you know we have an agreement okay oh yeah the brows because you know they're not done I like to take the Jackiana palette and I do like to go in credit but I feel like it has a little bit of a I'm so sorry I'm not looking at you while I'm talking like that's so rude but I feel like it has a little bit of like a um burgundy tint to it so I kind of mix it with another brown but I'll show you what I do um, and this is just an elf concealer brush we use what we have Today I'm starting off with like kind of like the tail to like create the shape and then I'm filling in the rest as I please I create a small little box at the beginning oh okay this color does not look bad on the brow cool I think sometimes I go into it with too much product on the brush and I'm taking very little so if you're going to use this method because you can literally use this palette for a lot just take a little bit as you go and if you want to build up as you go do that but don't take too much at first because it's not going to look the best i know from personal experience sweetie oh shit okay normally it looks too reddish but i don't know it doesn't look that reddish to me and if it looks red to you it matches the look i did it on purpose Okay, what is there left? Nothing? Am I done? Can't be. Whoa. This brow is a little more intense than this brow, but they're sisters, not twins. Like, we're not judging, you know? I kind of want to add a gloss, but I'm not. I want to add hoop earrings, so hold on. These are literally from AliExpress. They were like, I don't know how much they were. They were like 99 cents or something. I got these like two years ago 
I think three years ago in one of my AliExpress videos. I will have it here on the screen somewhere. I'll put the card in. You could watch that. I was young. Don't judge me back then. Oh, shit. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm putting it on my collarbone to just highlight it and kind of down my chest. Don't do what I did with the bronzer. As you can tell, there's literally like splotches of bronzer on here. Don't, don't mind it. Oh my gosh. You don't want to break my I'm kind of obsessed. Hold on. I'm actually really kind of obsessed. I'm going to add just some water. I don't know. The, this mixture that I have in here. I might do some of my pictures like this. Period, poo. Oh my gosh, but I'm happy with this look. I'm happy with how my hair looks, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I should show you on the back. Yeah, I should, okay. If it looks bad, don't make fun of me because I don't know how the hell it looks either, so. Bruh. Here she is. Does it look bad? Probably, but it's okay. But yeah, so that is it for this video. Um, I just want to say quickly, I just want to address everything that's going on in the world. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's been hard for me. I haven't really uploaded. I uploaded me cutting my hair, and that was like a really just impulsive thing. And I was like, okay, like, let me just post it. Um, but I haven't really been uploading much because my mind has kind of been everywhere with everything. Um, with a, first the coronavirus, with the whole scare of going out, and now with the just terrible killings and abuse of innocent people by the police and that we see and that are recorded and you know um that's not even all of it that's not all that goes on every single day um and things are just a little bit intense right now so I've been kind of taking a step back because I've been really feeling it on my mind and on my mental but to everyone that is posting and advocating um I'm so happy I am everybody who's protesting out there um, please be safe and be cautious. Um, and yeah, you know, as a country, we need to do better. You know, black lives do matter just as much as anybody else's life. And ever to everybody who keeps saying, you know, all lives matter, I just want to say this piece because I truthfully, I understood it, but I didn't understand it until I saw this tweet. And the tweet basically said, all lives can't matter until black lives matter do. And I hope that gives somebody insight where they're like, oh my gosh, like people are trying to say, other people's lives don't matter just beside black lives like first of all like how is that even possible when you see the freaking things that go on against black people in the world how does that make sense but hope that gives you some insight on why the black lives movement black lives matter movement is so big and so re relevant and prevalent in our society today because not all lives cannot matter until black lives matter and that's just that on period I didn't understand why people had a problem with saying Black Lives Matter, but like I just saw it and it made so much sense to me. So I'm happy that I was able to gain that and understand that and I want to relay that to you. I've seen it on Twitter. You may have as well. Um, but that's just my take. I hope everyone's mental is doing well. Like I said, it's a tough time. It's been heavy on me and I can't imagine on the people who are actually really going out here and physically fighting this. I'm proud that you are taking a stand and using your voice because as it should, because this is just insane and it's terrible, but um i'm praying for everyone's mental health and for just the world to get better um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel i have content coming soon i plan on vlogging for my birthday a bit um i do yeah so i don't know if my uploads will be as consistent as they were like a few weeks ago um because i think i just needed to take a step back because even being on social media and stuff is a bit intense for me right now but I wanted to do this because this made me feel a little bit better, took my mind off of things a little bit. But honestly, being on social media is one of the best things that I could be doing right now because it's keeping me informed on everything that's going on. Because, yeah. So, um, don't forget to just take care of yourself and to just stay aware. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Birthday coming up, so... Yeah, I might do this look for my birthday because I really freaking like it or something similar. I would have never thought to put this together. But yeah, so um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Stay safe.
Hey, 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 hey,